Due to public demand, people are asking, what if you don't want to focus your career on cybersecurity, but more on DevOps and cloud? Where should we start? So this is another video of Best Beginner IT Certification Roadmap. We already had one, which is cybersecurity. So if you haven't watched this video yet, kindly check it out. But this time we will focus on DevOps and cloud career. Keep in mind, you are expected to know a little programming. You can start with Python, JS, or JavaScript, or just understanding programming logic. There is no valuable application programming certification, or at least I don't recommend any of them. You probably know me as one of the few, if not the only YouTuber who recommends underrated certifications. So this list will be very interesting. And as usual, Comment below and shout out your location like Nice Video Dean from Azerbaijan, Panama, Western Sahara. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city, like from Valencia, Indianapolis, Phuket, etc. I will repeat this again and again. The very first certification to prepare and take is Linux, definitely. Learn Linux before you learn DevOps. Learn Linux before cloud. Learn Linux before security-related certifications. We already talked about the comparison in this video, so check it out. So, which is the best Linux certification for junior associate or administrator level? No doubt, it's CompTIA Linux Plus. I know, there are other Linux certification options. The detailed discussion why we chose Linux Plus in these two videos. But just to summarize, why Linux? So except for help desk or software quality assurance testers or software QA testers, most IT careers expect you will be working with a lot of servers. There are also cases where you will work with tools like DevOps or security. So whether servers or tools, most of these runs in Linux. So CompTIA Linux Plus is our first certification. I'm going to give this difficulty level of 2.5 out of 5. Yes, it's not really difficult. How about the cost? The cost of CompTIA Linux Plus is 369 US dollars. If you're going to compare the second spot to cybersecurity roadmap video, I suggested CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate. So Linux Plus, then CCNA, but not this time. You don't need to understand full CCNA, which includes Cisco switch and router configuration. Yeah, although it's really not a bad idea, especially if you want to focus on cloud infrastructure, like providing cloud solutions, hybrid cloud, or cloud security related career. It's just, um, I will not put it in our rankings. We can understand and specialize in DevOps without CCNA knowledge. So second certification, I would go for CCAD or Certified Kubernetes Application Developer. Of course, one of the main component and technologies of DevOps environment is container and container orchestrations. Regarding containers like Docker and Podman, it's already covered in Linux Plus and here in CCAD as well. You don't need a certification to understand the basics of containerization. And yes, you need to understand container orchestration as soon as you get Linux Plus. And this is way more complicated. If you're going for DevOps career, CCAD or Certified Kubernetes Application Developer by Linux Foundation is the best container orchestration certification for associate level. The difficulty level for this exam since it's a hands-on lab and it's associate level, um, which by the way is very rare, I will give it four out of five. The price for this exam is 445 US dollars. This is just for the exam. But I suggest to wait for the sale price, which runs quite often. The price would go down from 220 USD to 350 US dollars during Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Linux Foundation Anniversary, and Holiday Season. Next certification. So we went for F5CA or F5 Certified Administrator in Big IP. 
we will still go for F5CA, but this time it will be F5CA in Engine X. It's always best to understand Engine X in combination with Kubernetes. As 70 to 80% of Kubernetes production environment use Engine X. It may be a bit higher or even higher in microservice or API driven architectures. So you use Engine X as ingress controller, reverse proxy, load balancer, TLS termination, etc. And in case you are wondering what Engine X really do, think of it as a traffic director that makes containerized application accessible, secure, and scalable. And uh, yeah, Engine X, this is probably the component where you activate most security features in a DevOps environment. And this includes WAF or Web Application Firewall. Okay, so the difficulty level of this exam, I will give it 3.5 out of 5. It can be 3, but since it's a total of 4 exams, yeah, we will keep 3.5. Each exam cost 50 US dollars, so total of 200 USD. Next, just like in our beginner cybersecurity roadmap, we have AWS. We will now focus on the cloud. In this era, you need to learn cloud, especially if you want to have a DevOps related career. But this time, we will change the strategy. We will still go for the entry level. That's our first AWS certification. This is AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. But after that, instead of AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate, we will go for AWS Certified Developer Associate and AWS Certified SysOps Associate. Well, actually, soon or now, it's going to be renamed to AWS Certified Cloud Ops Engineer Associate. So yeah, two associate level certifications. One is cloud dev certifications and the other is cloud ops certification. Cloud dev, cloud ops, dev and ops. You got it? Dev ops. This would be your cloud dev ops foundational knowledge and certifications. Now let's go to the difficulty level. So first AWS certified cloud practitioner. I will give this 1.5 out of five. It's really easy and probably the easiest certification that you will take in your career. And then for the AWS Certified Developer Associate and AWS Certified Cloud Ops Engineer Associate, I will give both three out of five star. Now, our final Cloud and DevOps Beginner Certification, I will give it to HashiCorp Certified Terraform Associate. And for those who are not familiar with this technology and certification, uh, this certification demonstrates your foundational knowledge of Terraform, which is the technology. And uh, Terraform is probably the most popular cloud IAC. So Terraform, this is an open source IAC, which is also known as Infrastructure as a Code. This is a tool developed by HashiCorp. This allows you to define, provision, and manage infrastructure, such as virtual machines, networks, storage, serverless, containers across multiple cloud providers. Okay, so for the difficulty level, based on my research, so I asked three people who took this certification and they can easily say it's around 2.5 or 3, but I will go for 2.5 since they mentioned they only took or it only took them three to four weeks preparation. The cost of this certification is uh, probably one of the most affordable. Yes, it's only less than 100 USD. Uh, the, the actual cost is $70.50. Many people will say DevOps is not an entry or junior level position. Well, if you're going to complete all of the certifications we mentioned, which is entry or associate level, your chances on getting a DevOps related job would be pretty high, even if you're just new in the industry. So don't be distracted. Don't listen to these negative people. Just focus. Also note that DevOps is a new position. It doesn't exist or it's not popular 10 years ago. It only went mainstream around 2018. Well, of course, depends where you are located. 
This means that DevOps roles are still in high demand, with more opportunities emerging and a limited talent pool to meet the growing need. And here is the interesting part. If you go for DevOps career, and then later you find cybersecurity or security technologies interesting, you can just learn or add security concept into DevOps. In other words, learn securing DevOps environment. This is also known as DevSecOps. So what do you think of this best beginner IT certification roadmap focusing on cloud and DevOps?